In the heart of Rome lies a mystery. Trajan's Column is one of the most impressive monuments to survive the fall of the Roman Empire, and researchers are still trying to understand how it was actually built. If only we could go back in time, we could watch this amazing feat of engineering come together. The column was dedicated by the Roman Senate in 113 AD to honor the Emperor Trajan, who had just conquered the Dacians, all but wiping them from the face of Europe. The architect was thought to be Apollodorus of Damascus, who had already designed Trajan's Forum. At 126 feet tall, the column would require 29 blocks of solid marble, each weighing from 25 to 77 tons. These were brought from a quarry north of Rome and floated up the Tiber River to the work site. Within each drum was carved windows and a staircase, allowing access to the top. A current theory says the drums were rolled into the base of a lifting tower, a sophisticated scaffolding and pulley system for lifting the drums high into the air. To grip the drums, slots were carved into the marble for Lewis irons, which held the marble from the inside. Then ropes were attached to each Lewis. <gasps> Providing the power for lifting the drums was a series of capstans working in concert, each pushed by perhaps a dozen men as well as horses. These were connected to ropes that wound through pulley blocks up and down the lifting tower. In this way, a marble drum could be raised high above the streets below. To see what's happening inside the lifting tower, let's take away one of the outer walls of this model. A drum is lifted and then lowered onto a trundling platform. Ropes are disconnected and the drum is moved horizontally. Then new ropes are attached. The platform is removed and the drum is lowered and secured into place. Once the drums are set, craftsmen smooth the surface and begin work on the 656-foot-long frieze, which tells the story of Emperor Trajan's war victory. The frieze spirals up the column like a giant comic strip in 155 different scenes and was probably painted with bright colors. No evidence remains as to what the colors actually were. A bronze statue of Trajan was placed on top, but in 1588, a pope installed a statue of St. Peter instead. The statue of Trajan has been lost to history. Meanwhile, the pedestal is made out of eight marble blocks and contains the tomb of Trajan. Trajan's column has stood for more than 1,900 years and was deeply influential. Over the centuries, as the city's landmarks crumbled, the column has continued to fascinate and inspire.